remember that kind of chord progression on the, is it Splash Mountain? Y'all come back now, you yeah. hear? At the home. You can tell I'm practicing. Uh, nah. Okay, so let's see if we can get it. Now, it works better with a little audience participation. So, y'all have to do. Do, 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 and then there's some people who can whistle. And uh, if you can whistle it, then we'll call the whistle. Whistle. I'm whistler glass. Do you have to get the whistle? I can't. Yeah, somebody, somebody can. Eat. Get the lip. Get the. Uh... Uh, so what was I go to? I go to family reunions and. I couldn't remember anybody's name. Because <laughs> I don't see them that often. And I have a bad memory for names. Anyway, so. I have a uh, bad oh, memory too. There you go. But you're in this song. So I just want you to listen. Because yeah. your name's going to come up in this song. Uh, but I thought, how many people have verb names? All these verb names. Do you have anybody got a verb name? Do you know if you're. Yeah, well, John. Well, <laughs> <laughs> put a lid on it. Okay, uh, anyway, good night. And who else got a, anybody else have a verb name? Alright, you'll you appreciate this song. Anyway. <laughs> At the hometown family reunions, kid folk country time. Do 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 do. That's your part. Do 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 do. Whistlers. Do. I can't. All right, you ready? Peggy Sue was a one-legged lawyer. See, that's how it goes. The whole song is like this. Peggy, anybody named Peggy? Peggy Sue was a one-legged lawyer. Rob was a friend of mine, but he's now in jail. Oh, Harry's in a rush to wait. Mary, she can celebrate. Woohoo! <laughs> Diane and Digger on a funeral home with sons Barry, Doug, and Phil. Barry, Doug, and Phil. <laughs> Kurt and Rod are hanging out by the window drapes. That's Kurt and Rod. Wendy and Gail blowing in with flow and chase. Neil's down on his knees. Russell's out kicking up leaves. Moe's cutting up. Stu's cooking stuff. Paul and Dusty have allergies. <laughs> Ready to sneeze? <laughs> At the hometown family reunion. It's a kid folk country time. Funny how the names sort are of like a game. You tell the story every single time. It's hard to recall anything at all, but with a clue or two, I'm doing fine. At the hometown family reunion, it's kid folk country time. Do 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 Mike never leaves the phone. Skip's over looking alone. Pat's got your back. Welcome, says Matt. Uncle Bill's calling Paige for a long. Daisy keeps spinning out and he can't stand up straight. Bob floating on a minute or two, docks down at the lake. Bridget's gonna make it across, flip and do a somersault. Nick's gotta cut Danielle and a rocks and Terry never leaves till late. At the hometown family reunion, it's a kid folk country time. All over all the names in the song. I'm glad it's over because it's really long. I need another verse to carry on. I'm unrehearsed. Evan, though I'd frankly like to go on. I'll make it home to the hometown family reunion, it's a kid folk country time. Y'all come back, I 
pick up another and look at it and throw it away. And this went on and Jed said, what you doing? Ed? So they put the head on the wrong end. <laughs> you so stupid, and Ed, those are for the other side of the building. <laughs> hey, you know what they call Bob the Builder now? Bob. It's out of work. <laughs> Hopefully it get better. Yeah. Nothing, huh? Nothing. All right. Hey, try the bill. I'll be here all week. All right, so well, one more. One more Jed and Ed story. Let's see. Grandpa will tell this one. So Jed and Ed were looking for work, and they went in to see the man at the employment agency. Jed goes in first, and the man says, what you do? He goes, uh, cut up. No, he says, I'm, I'm pilot. Pilot. He says, what? Pilot? Yeah, looking for pilots. Good, I'm looking for work. Jed said, all right, who's that with you? Well, that's my brother Ed. He came too. Okay. So uh, Jed went out to the lobby and said, hey, Ed, I got me a job. They want you in there now. So Ed goes in there to see the man. And uh, it's okay. Well, you're supposed to walk kind of invisible when you, you duck your head. If you duck your head, I wouldn't have seen you. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, no, you can't see me right now because my head is cut. But the problem is, when you duck your head like that, there's a real temptation to want to look up. And as soon as you look up, everybody's going to see you. But if you... Remember that? Welcome back. You miss Nice to see you. You think I can get you like a watch? I made you feel... I'm sorry. I made you feel... I made you feel... At least you came. Yeah, you didn't have to. That's why you... I did everything else. Is this the person you're getting married to? Yeah. Yeah. I asked her if she set the date first and then found a man or found a man and then set the date. And she said, I found you first. Did she find you or did you find her? No, she found No, that is not the right answer. You can lie even in church on that one. Okay? No. So, January the 3rd? No. January what day? 31st. Um, this is the one. Well, don't miss the one. Uh, 31st there. So. What year? 26. What year? 2028. 2018. 2020. 2020, so you can see clearly? Yeah. You're really getting married? Yeah. Oh. Jeff, you don't want your daughter to be married and happily married? From, you just wish her what? You know? You like this guy, don't you? <laughs> Jeff? Master? Yeah, yeah, I like him. I love him. We yeah, actually kind of do. Y'all look similar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I left my glasses in the car. Yeah, I don't know. See, I knew your... I knew the pastor when he was my... Uh, your age. One that doesn't look and still feel me. Are you paying? <laughs> Can I buy this one? I should have started. I got him started. Yeah, it's my fault. Oh, okay. Because oh, he good. wants you to use it oh, to for more yeah. angles. Yeah. It's good. It's you good. Look, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so went into the lobby. Jed comes out from the lobby and says, Ed, I got me a job. They want you in there now. So Ed goes in there and the man says, What you do? And he says, Cut up. He just says, What's that? I cut sugar cane. I'm a cut up. And uh, he said, I'm sorry, we're not looking for, uh, we don't need any cutters. And he says, Well, how come my brother got a job? Because he's a pilot. Yeah, but I gotta cut it first before he can pilot. Feel <laughs> <laughs> free to laugh amongst yourselves. Talk about the Holy Roman Empire, which is the Holy the Roman Roman Empire. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, so here we go. All right, so any other uh, requests before I? I've been everywhere. Oh. Yes. I, can do I actually it. came over with my own person. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you want to hear you it? You want to finish the show? John? Uh, Maybe, yeah. 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 Hey, Jordan. You want me to play for you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, like Justin said, Johnny got his head, a hoji, so he did to me. I listened to the song. And yeah, Fuji, sometimes I'm even off key. <laughs> so, 
people sometimes <laughs> get my name confused. I ought to say, what's your name? I forget. <laughs> and in the Bible, it talks about Jesus, and they say, what's about him? He's the king of kings, short of yours, friends of peace. Well, if we're playing six closer than you want today, he sticks closer than you know about the jail, you know about it, I don't know what the other because I forgot the what the words because Jesus just so so much. I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere. But wait, there's more. People ask me, so what did you do when back to school happened? Well, I'm home to school. So they say, what did you do? And I told them this. I filmed tons of movies, did everything. I went to Burger King, McDonald's, everything. Taco Bell, KFC. I went to everything and I forgot all my things were. And I forgot how old my sisters were, cause I had eight and we still love it. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. People ask me, so what songs do they sing at church? Um, I remember some, but I forget the most. They sing songs like, Take it all times, God, Jesus, us to be this, I know for the Bible does it so. Jesus, us to your children, of the whole Bible. Jesus, us to be this, I know for the Bible does it so. Dear, dear, he, that's a book for me, as I know, for God, Jesus, us to be so. I didn't make it real, man, I didn't make it real. There's any more. People oh, say, so how much times have you read the Bible? Let's see, I read the New Testament 6, the Old Testament 5. They say, are you 65? No, I just read it that much times. <laughs> so, they say, how fast can you see the New Testament? I say, three fast, I did when I have one here. But I can say, the Old and New Testament, I'll try to do fast. Genesis, section is the biggest numbers to know me. Joshua, Judge, Truth, for the same thing, you know, for the same things, for the same conquest, and then I'm still in the hands. So some part of this. I will get some time. And then it's getting a new testament. Back in Mark 2, John Acts 12, Ben. What's the second Corinthians? Because he says, if he sins for your Ben's for your sins, what's the second Pledge of Yours? What's the second Timothy? Time this way, me and you, blue saints. What's the second Peter? What's the second Pledge of John 2, where would they say, I read the book, and I read the book. Wait, 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 I'm not done. There's more. There's something more. Then all of a sudden, Johnny Cats is still on my head. And then I start. It's a rap for you, but. I actually do, I do rap songs. Oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. I but, come up with prison But your name's not on the poster, so... No, okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Can't leave, can't leave the stage like that. Sorry. We want to give you the proper applause for the incredible comedic performance of Jonathan Goldenberg. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Goldenberg! <laughs> Well, I just wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you, you've got like, quite some memory, Jonathan. Yeah. Uh, you do it in a So yeah, that's how it started. I just got in the, it got in my head. I got, and so I was traveling along, and I was like, I've eaten everywhere, man. I've eaten everywhere, man. Every kind of bear, man. I've eaten everywhere, man. Burgers I've had my share, man. I've eaten everywhere. I ate a pizza hut, Dairy Queen, Waffle House, Burger King, Sonic, Crystal KFC, Ruby Tuna, Apple Bay, Cracker Burger, Slip and Shake, Old Dark Chick fil A, Mac and Eat, Taco Bell, Hardy Macaroni Grill, Wendy, Villages, Dunkin' Donuts, Milligan, Sunny's, Dead and House, Snake and Owl, Huddle House, I've eaten everywhere, yeah. I've eaten everywhere. I drop a dog, Lincoln, DNC, Action, Infinity, Old School, Mercury, Mazda, Porsche, Jeep, Honda, Key, Cadillac, Fort Toyota, Pontiac, Chrysler, Chevrolet, Lexus, Saab, Hyundai, Maserati, Daewoo, BMW, Volkswagen, Datsu, Nissan, Subaru, Adventure, everywhere. Say the best Western Embassy, Bayma, Double J, Holiday, 
Governor, Howard and Clary, and Fairfield, Marion, Gilton, and Connellot, Red Roof, Renaissance, and Parade, Radisson. And the travel lodge to keep the Ramadan in the quality days in with me. I've been everywhere, yeah. And even in my rental car. No, come to point if you can't beat it. Join it. If you don't join it, you ask Jesus to help you with it. I think we had this discussion last time, and I was like, I'm an alcoholic. Join it. No, do not join it. I asked Jesus to help me with it. So I said, you know, I had this problem with this list. I said, Jesus, you got to help me with this. You know what he gave me? I know you, yes. Yeah, but it's the best list I've ever had. So when Johnny on the spot comes on this trumpet, which means to overpower, because I don't know if you're like me, but we weren't allowed to play with the cards, were you? We, we basically preached against everything we couldn't afford. And so, uh, so he couldn't afford those either. So we preached against them because, you know, good and well, playing with cards can lead to premarital dancing. So do not let that happen. So, no. so, so whenever Johnny on the spot comes, I just trumpet. With this list, it's the best list I've ever had. I think John also had a little few of these. He's a little boy, Colonel King, Lamb of God, everything, the liver of Righteous Wedding Manual, God's only son of the glory, great man, son of David, son of man, morning star, eternal life, love of glory, out of night, great super proud of life, prophet, <laughs> sacrifice, last architect, advocate, and resurrection. He's the king of peace. Two thousand fifteen, you're getting married. Two thousand fifteen. Two thousand fourteen now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Countdown's getting closer every day. Ten and nine, eight and seven, six and five. And all upon the picture while you may think about three and two coming through the clouds and crying. And the countdown's getting closer every day. Some people know what I'm saying. There's a. I do. I remember that song. You could not have grown up with that song. <laughs> well, I remember it. You remember it? I bet you do. <laughs> Are we having fun? Is it okay? Yeah. Look, we can, we can, we can, I can go in the high performance mode, but I'm having more fun just playing with the cop, playing with the audience, yeah, having fun here. This is makes it fun. This is he fun. said, do the eagle song. The Eagle song cannot be played tonight. I've uh, actually been sued on that. I can't do it. Why? Okay, Why? that's not true. <laughs> but I'm just saying, dude. You know the Eagle song. It did originate from here with the uh, with the Eagle that came out of Homestead. You know, you you don't know it. <laughs> It's famous. They're singing it in Spanish. I went my boy. They are. They're singing the song in Spanish. I don't even speak Spanish, and my song is in Spanish. I go to Guatemala or Guatemala. And uh, do you ever, does that make does that ever cause you to think? Yeah, we're on a missions trip. We're from Georgia, and we're going to the country of Nicaragua, and then we're going to have you know. Why do you just say one word like that? Why don't you say Nicaragua? Like, you, like but no, Nicaragua. You know, I don't understand these people come back from mission trips. Well, we had a great time down in Guatemala. And then it was a wonderful experience that we had in Guatemala. And it's like, just say Guatemala. That's not, that's not. So I just spent too many mission trips. But they're singing this in Spanish. And I told you before, I don't speak Spanish. So I don't oh, speak yeah, so I'm going to start uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, 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 so my, yeah, it is. Uh, this is what they say. Welcome to Disney World. Well, from all my thing about you, how long have we I don't really know what I'm saying, but the next thing they say says is, please stand clear of the door. So I'm thinking I might could be a greeter in a Spanish church. Well, from all my thing about you, how long have Does anybody speak Spanish? Did, did I say anything? Yeah. Did I? Yes. What did I say? I forgot. Please. Please. Por favor, mantenga la señal on the door. Please keep your hands off the wings of the door. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't really know what I was saying. Uh, I don't know one time. Y'all know Pastor Eddie Rivera? 
but yeah. I, he's friends of mine. We, I would come down to see him, and we would go to a restaurant, and I said on Facebook, which I've never done again, hey, Eddie, I'm coming down, and in Spanish I tried to say, we're going to eat some chicken and yellow rice and plantains. Uh. And I said that in Spanish, or what I thought was Spanish. And he called me on the telephone and said, Justin, you're at your computer, right? I go, yeah. I know, but you just put something on Facebook. Take it off. Take it off now. Take it off. I don't guess you know what you said. I go, chicken and yellow rice and plantains. No, that's not what you said. We're going to eat a plantation worker in yellow underwear. It's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I don't speak too much Spanish. It always gets me in trouble. Always. When I was a, I was a college director or college pastor, and I had a guy from West Virginia named Ace and wanted to go on a trip down to Nicaragua. And no, we were going to El Salvador. And so we were going to El Salvador, El Salvador and he says, Ladies and gentlemen, teach me some Spanish. Now this is, he's from West Virginia, and this is exactly how, teach me some Spanish for now. I said, well, I don't know that much. I said, what do you want to learn to say? He goes, how about praise the Lord? I said, I don't know, you're from West Virginia, you know you're 49th in education. And he said, quote, out of how many? <laughs> okay, so this is my, this is my student, okay, so. I said, what do you want to learn to say? He goes, praise the Lord. And I'm just a jokester. You know, I, I can be serious, but I wasn't then. And I said to him, I think it's Donde Esta El Baño. <laughs> Which you don't know in Spanish is, where is the bathroom? <laughs> well, I figured he would have tried his new Spanish out before we got to the action spot. And there he is in the altars in El Salvador. First time, and, I, and his hands are raised, and this is, Donde Esta El Baño! I don't know if you're like me, but and I don't mean to make fun of this, but oftentimes the expression of where is the bathroom and praise the Lord is often the same facial expression. And these nice ladies came up to him and said, Senor, I can't, I can't. I can't to the bathroom. Go. Uh, now, but I said, Ace, I might have told you the wrong words. I'm so sorry. Well, you know what? That's why I'm not a college pastor now. <laughs> Spanish is not a good thing. But getting back, they're singing the eagle song in Spanish now. So, you know, you can't get them out of the house. You know, that's why I teach my teenager, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother. That's scripture, son. Go, go. <laughs> Practice that verse every day. <laughs> so, what do you do with an eagle that won't fly away? They rented the thing out. And they rented it to the Duck Dynasty people in West Monroe, Louisiana, at the First Baptist Church of West Monroe. And there's 2,000 people here. And now Challenger is going to fly a foot over our head and make us all feel like trout for a moment. Mm -hmm. And it's a big bird. It's a 10 foot wingspan. Wow. Huge. And outside the Act Center, they let Challenger go. And it was beautiful seeing this bird effortlessly catch the thermals and just go up in the atmosphere. So I thought, I'm going to write a song about that. Because, you know, I'm a preacher's kid, I know, but still, I think I got the concept on this. And what happened was, it was flying. I came back to get a picture of it with my, with my phone. And... I spent too much time inside and the weather got horrible like it was 10 miles north of here today. And I thought, the eagle is going to fly down. But the eagles don't care what the weather is. Did you know that? Did you know that? Yeah. They don't? No, you. Don't look around at you. Did you know that? You did not know that, but now you do. Eagles don't care what the weather is. That which comes against them makes them fly higher. So if there's a storm coming, they just get up. Well, that's the point. We don't know what storms are out there, but the same storm that could knock you down if you soar with the turkeys. 
if you, if you fly with eagles, it's going to lift you up. And that's why the scripture says put on wings of eagles. did not say put on turkey feathers. The scriptures do not say put on turkey feathers and trot with the turkeys. It says soar with the eagles. And so the storms are coming. How you react is all what kind of wings you got. So I thought, well, I'm going to write a song. So I did because I don't, I don't want plantation worker in yellow underwear to show up in this song. That is gross. <laughs> that sounded good. Can you do it again? <laughs> oh, you tried to take a picture? Well, let me know. I'll look into the camera this time. No <laughs> glare. That which comes against you causes you to soar higher. This is a serious point in the program, folks. What's the beginning? That which comes against you makes you soar higher. You know in Spanish? Por favor, mantenga la tabla. Get 
treat me like a dog. I'm out of here. When I heard her say those words, I perked up an ear. It's true she'd been mistreated, but what she said was wrong. Because if he'd only treated her like the dog, she never would have gone. behind the ears. I bet you a bag of kennel ration, she'd still be here. If he had only treated her like a dog, happy ever after would have been their epilogue. She never strayed with the pump, she'd have wagged her tail and tag along. He'd only treated her like a dog. Oh. You do that? Oh. There. He calls me a prince and treats me like a king. How come he can't do for her? Say, look, dog all the things like wash her dish and change her bowl each day like he does mine. And give her little compliments and treats from time to time. If he had only let her go out on her own every now and then, I'd have a serious rival for being that. Emerald and Paula Dean and Bobby Flay. And it's pretty neat meeting these people. So I kind of got into cooking, and my mom's a great cook. And um, I'm full gospel, <laughs> role in the ministry. So, and so I, uh, I've been involved in this. And so I thought, if I ever get to see Emerald again, I, I want to be sure I share my faith with him. And I want to make sure everyone knows Jesus. And so I thought, well, maybe he already does. And I got to think, what if Emerald Lagasse quit the chef business and went on the, went as a full-time evangelist? What would his message be to us tonight? And I'm thinking, the feeding of the 5,000, obviously. So this is my message I wrote for him. So the big cheese, Jesus has his 12-pack, us disciples out in the wilderness, breaking the bread of life, telling us about the land of milk and honey, what my appetites for this tasty hot item in heaven called eternity. A place where we'd be getting our piece of the pie, you know, something we can sink our teeth into. Piece of cake, he says, just ask the top banana to meet your needs or rest its gravy. Well, it was food for thought, and I was eating it up. But while Jesus was preaching, these scribes and Pharisees were over on the side, stewing mad, boiling over at all the attention Jesus was getting. Said he didn't know beans. Some fruitcake milk in the crowd was half-baked schemes of some marriage supper of the land. Fat chance, they did. The whole enchilada was just too corny to believe. But Jesus was one cool cucumber telling us not to be chicken when facing the enemy, talking about his divinity. Well, the day was getting late, and we was in a real serious kettle of fish because there was no food and no dough to buy it. Because none of us had been bringing home the bacon. We's Jewish. <laughs> Besides, it's a Christian event. Food should just be provided. Well, the day was getting late. We was in hot water when a young lad pops up, offers us one to five bowls, two fish. Jesus receives it and said, let us pray. Let us 
pray. Bam! Kick it up. Turn or burn. <laughs> so he has us all sitting in the field and like peas in a pot. He keeps breaking bread till we all go. But in is the icing on the cake. He even bent the top to hand him. He could have said, hey, you tried to whip me, you bunch of small potatoes. When you went around fudging the truth about me, you bit off more than you could chew. But no. No, he fed them too. He fed us all. And then, there was even leftovers. No baloney. And that's how he fed the multitude in a nutshell. And if you don't see what I'm saying to you, you jump a line. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's back to school. And I wanted to do a little back to school wisdom. And I don't know if I did that. Did I ever share next? I forget. I don't believe you. I'm going to need this microphone. Go ahead and snap them on yourself. All right, some of you have no rhythm. <laughs> Those are the ones I want to hang out with. <laughs> I got scripts on the back of an envelope. Notes from the napkin and just come and go. I get a premise or a logical hunch. I get a song, but I'm missing a verse. For every hundred jokes, 99 don't work. But I just keep writing down for better or worse. It's the journal of the comic mind. And it's Justin's, Justin's journal. Do you remember all the wisdom I have for you? Wisdom for back to school. Ready? Always remember, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and early. <laughs> Very early. Always remember, teach a child when he is young to be courteous, and I'll show you an adult who can't merge his car into interstate traffic. <laughs> Always remember, talk is cheap, unless you're talking to a lawyer. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. There's usually a lot of people who want to be in it. <laughs> I was on a cruise once when a bird flew over and pooped on a man's head. The man said he wished he had a piece of toilet paper. You remember now? <laughs> that happened to you? And the man said he wanted a piece of toilet paper. I said, the bird's a half a mile away. <laughs> I just did not understand. <laughs> but remember this, the early bird gets the worm. But the second mouse gets the cheese. <laughs> Always remember, you can lead a horse to drink, but you can't make him water. <laughs> My grandfather was so anti-Pentecostal, he cut the tongues out of all his shoes. No. <laughs> Pity say? Penny earned. It's a really slow start to your 401k. <laughs> One nice thing you can say about egotists, they rarely talk about other people. Uh, if, if, if swimming is supposed to be that good for your figure, how do you explain whales? <laughs> Right. My uncle was a veterinarian and a taxidermist. Either way, you're getting your dog back. I want to leave this world the same way I entered it, by accident. I'm thankful for my fundamentalist friends. Um, my parents were fundamentalists. I mean, both of them were together, but I remember my friend, his mom was an atheist and his dad was Jehovah's Witness. Poor kid went around the neighborhood knocking on doors with nothing to say. <laughs> I joined a 12-step group for chocoholics. Whenever we're together, we're never more than 12 steps away from chocolate. <laughs> when I die, I want to leave something that money can't buy. Debt. Uh, okay, see, it didn't work. That's why I put it in there. <laughs> Exercise is such a bad word. Whenever I say it, I have to wash my mouth out with chocolate. <laughs> Did you know a day without sunshine is like night? 
<laughs> I've always heard it said, don't judge a man until you walk a mile in his shoes. And I think that's very wise. That way, if you don't like him, you're a mile away. And you have his shoes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it said it's always darkest before the dawn. So if you like to think of neighbor's newspaper, that's the best time. There you go. How does a free gift differ from just a gift? Well, that's my journal. Formal education to be a, become a pastor, you do it through the global global university. So, did anybody ever have this chance to go to Southeastern University uh, in the older days? Did anybody ever go there? That's their Bible college training. Um, I took it. I went there for Bible college training, and it was mandatory that I take a course in American literature. And we had a professor, Dr. West, indeed. And indeed, and he would always read from *The Raven* by Edgar Allan. I thought, oh, I don't want to hear this. I did not come to school to hear Edgar Allan Poe, so I took it upon myself to rewrite the poem for pastors. No, you didn't. I did. I did. They'll get paid for it, but I did. *The Raven* for pastors. I need wind. I need a howling dog. I'm going to let you hold on that one. Uh, that was a good dog. It was a little loud. Uh, it scared all the other dogs. Uh, all right, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a hounds of Baskerville or something like that. Uh, anyone, maybe in the back, that would be good for you. You're, you're in the front. Okay. Um, but that, that, it's good. I like participation. And you're the only one tonight that's doing that. So uh, uh, maybe over here. With a, that's a nice hat. Uh, is that person with you or is he deceased? Okay. Uh, oh, it's all right. No, it's good. It, maybe, uh, maybe a hat. I'll take that right there. I'll take that. Who let the dog out? <laughs> okay, and now a cat. Screeching cat. Yeah. Yeah. No, screech. Yeah, more, more thank. I'm talking to her and you keep answering for her. Are y'all twins? You can't do that. All right, look at the tape. If you don't believe me, look at the tape. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, meaner. Like someone, like someone stepped on your tail. That's it. That's it. Right there. That is, that's motivation. That's why I'm a producer. October, feeling pretty sad and sober, through my preaching files I pour. Summer gone, folks were returning to the pews for Bible learning, with a quite annoying yearning, hard for pastors to ignore. Entertainment, they cried, woo, 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 woo. But the sound I heard of knocking at 
my door too late for Lucky, still was roaring and was rocking. What on earth this late up for? Then there flew a raven stately, <coughs> blowing me away quite greatly, for I haven't seen one lately at the church I'm working for. And there he perched. <coughs> Nothing more. I resume my restless squirming, searching for a worthy sermon, scanning volumes of ancient German, spread <coughs> upon my desk and floor. I never self-defeated, sure inspired preachings needed, but my things have been repeated, till my people start to <sighs> snow. Quote the raven, ah, preach it more! <laughs> Great, I thought, now birds are flocking to my study just for mocking. Big time burnout time for locking old first church's lousy door. <laughs> Wait a minute, cried the raven. I think you're weird, sir. I'll see you the score of sermons fresh forevermore. I stopped to listen quite dumbfounded. It was right and sane and sound and that his words seemed firmly grounded in a truth one can't ignore. What you stand in desperate reaching for a lesson worth the teaching? That, my friend, is Christian preaching. That your folks are searching for. Just be yourself, nothing more. Well, that's simplistic, I protested. Why, television's just invested with slick preaching. I'll be bested if I'm just myself a bore. Hogwash! Bah! The bird disputed. <laughs> God has never yet recruited one to be some fancy-suited salesman from his office door. Just yourself. Nothing more. If you're dried up, never hide it. Simply find it. Try to climb inside it, then confess it and confide it to the ones you're preaching for. Authentic preaching really delves not in those truths upon the shelves, but in the truth inside itself. It's at the very core. Preach the truth forevermore. Then I asked him quite glad hearted just before the bird departed how he'd ever gotten started learning pastor lore. It's a job, the raven stated. I sold insurance, which I hated. <laughs> oh, I love this job. I'll never trade it. Then I watched him soar. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe do your office door. Ding ding. Ding ding. Ding 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 From the hills in Tennessee, where there ain't no roads and no TVs, ain't no phones or electricity, you gotta walk a path to be set free. He's way up in the hills of Tennessee. Well, deep in the hills of Tennessee was a man named Bubba, born in '63, the biggest sort of fella that you ever did see, with the biggest pair of feet that there ever could be. And old Bubba's feet could bring tears to a skunk. To <laughs> just put it mildly. Bubba's feet stunk. <laughs> Bubba! Bubba! Bubba wear no shoes. Ding 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 ding. Well, on the other side of the mountain, folks were gathering at the first self-righteous church of the brethren. The rich, the poor, those in between, just about everybody that day can be seen. And everyone's all excited, but if you're looking nervous, because tonight is the night of the annual foot washing service. <laughs> oh, it's by fall, the most social event of the season. And you better not miss without a powerful good reason. The preacher, he prays, gives the high sign for folks to start a joining in for foot washing time. There's girls washing cats, boys washing dogs, even one old man, he's a washing a home. But mostly it is people with people because this is the day for folks to put their humility on display. <laughs> well, everybody's with somebody except for one in the crowd, Mr. Nellie Longstreet. He's quite proper and proud. 
So Miss Penelope came with her bucket in hand, but kind of stayed in the background when all the washing began. But this year was different as she stood back near the rear, because this year, old Bubba was making plans to appear. Bubba! 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 Bubba!